If you've got one of these and want to use it to record yourself onto one of these, in this video I'll show you how. Hey, it's Patrick from the Garage Band Guide. If you've never used an audio interface to record your voice or your guitar or whatever onto your Mac before, knowing where to start can be difficult. In this video I'll share a couple of different interface options, show how to hook them up to your Mac and what you need to do on the software side to get up and running. If you already own an audio interface then you don't really need to watch this bit, you can skip ahead to the next chapter if you want. Alright, I've got three different options here. First up is this M Audio M Track Solo. It goes for around $50 or £40, has a combo input for an XLR microphone or lined instrument and a dedicated instrument input. It provides phantom power for a condenser microphone and is probably the best budget audio interface on the market right now. Next is this Focusrite Scarlet Solo. This costs around $120 or £100, has a dedicated XLR input and an instrument input, contains handy gain halos to let you know if your signal is too loud or quiet and has Focusrite's air feature which can add some extra top end sparkle to your vocals. Finally is this Motu M2. This interface costs around $200 or £180, comes with two XLR slash jack combo inputs, has a full colour LCD metering display, provides super low latency and is built like a tank. All of these interfaces will absolutely get the job done, so it's best to pick based on what budget you have available to you and what features you think you'll need. Depending on what model of Mac you have, hooking your audio interface up to it will either be incredibly straightforward or a bit of a pain in the backside. Using the Scarlett Solo as an example, it comes with a USB-C to USB-A plug. The USB-C goes into the back of the interface and the USB-A plug goes into your Mac. If you've got a Mac Mini, older iMac or MacBook Air model, then you can go ahead and plug the USB-A plug right into one of your machine's USB-A ports. If however you have a newer iMac, MacBook Air or newer MacBook Pro model, basically any Mac that only provides USB-C ports, you're going to need an adapter. Luckily you can pick up something like this for around $20 or £15 from Amazon. All you need to do is plug the USB-C plug into your Mac's USB-C port, then plug your audio interface's USB-A plug into the adapter. However you connect, interfaces like this are bus powered, meaning they draw power from the USB attachment and you don't need to power them externally. If you plan to record in Mac native software like GarageBand, Mainstage or Logic Pro, I'm actually going to take you a step back here. Before connecting your audio interface to your Mac, open your recording software first. I'll use GarageBand here. Once GarageBand is open, select the audio track option, then connect your interface. GarageBand will automatically detect the interface and ask if you want to use it. Go ahead and click on the Use button. Now down here in the Smart Controls section, you can toggle this open or close by clicking the dial icon in the top left. Click where it says No Input. You can select between, in this case, one of two available inputs. These correspond to the two inputs present on the Scarlet Solo. Input 1 being the XLR input and input 2 being the instrument input. If, for example, I have a microphone attached to this interface through the XLR connection, I'd click on Output, select Output 1, and when I hit Record, this track will record audio from that input. 
if you're wearing headphones while recording, and you probably should be, click the monitor button here so you can hear yourself. Now that you've set up your audio interface, learn more about recording in GarageBand specifically by watching this playlist next.